David Vertka. Welcome to A-List Listings, where we give you an exclusive look inside the hottest properties on the market. One of my favorite things in the world is discovering awesome open houses. And today, I'm excited to share my fabulous finds with you. When the elite needs an escape from the city, nothing beats the fresh mountain air. Our next listing gets back to the basics. Well, if you consider eight houses, 210 acres, and a priceless art collection, basic. So I'm in Lake Tahoe. Crazy, beautiful place. Ah, there's some views of the lake. Love it. Oh, keep your eyes on the road, bird guy. I'm coming up to this house called Tranquility that is one of the most expensive houses that I could ever imagine going to. Step inside Tranquility's main doors and you'll be able to tell immediately that this impeccably designed vacation home belongs to a major fashion mogul. Listing agent Sherry Chase gives me the grand tour. Sherry, I don't even know where to begin. I feel like I'm on vacation already and then you walk in and I feel like I'm in a high-end hotel and everywhere I look there is something different that catches my eye. It's incredible. It is incredible. Tell me about the ceiling. Well, first of all, this whole entry was sculpted after the staircase and the dome on the Titanic. Oh, get out, really? Yeah, they actually hand pressed everything from a replica that was in London. I don't think anything even at the White House is as impressive as this. Each room is like a museum exhibit featuring rare collectibles from around the world. The entryway leads to the Great Hall, which houses a collection of exquisite furniture and 18th century paintings. As we walk through into this entry, we come into a transition area, which is a smaller replica of the dome. So if you just take a peek up, oh, wow. you're gonna see that. And then come into the wonderful grand hall thing. This is insane. It I, is, it I, is, it's, it's, it's insane. It's hard to believe that this is real. I mean, that someone actually lives here in this house. And you can see the quality throughout. You're gonna look at the soft furnishings. You're gonna see the rugs. All of the floors are magnificent. Oh, and we have this feeling, when you have two or 300 people or two people in this room, it becomes just magical. And as we move forward, you're going to look at over 30 foot windows here. And seeing outside the rocks against this beautiful, rich antiquities and furniture and walls, it's so beautiful. The oversized dining room is a reminder that you've left the city far behind. So this is a take on Peter Paul Rubens, but the actual art that is within these beautiful frames is that of animals that are really indigenous to Lake Tahoe. And this floor here came from an old chateau in France, and they brought all of the artisans from France to actually make that installation. Down the hall, the farmhouse kitchen is ideal for preparing a fresh catch. I'm a sucker for kitchens, I'm a chef, and this is not only a dream kitchen, but this is an ultra dream kitchen. It looks like a movie set. It doesn't look real. This kitchen is filled with artifacts, and you're going to be able to look at the cherubs that are holding up the roof over the stove itself, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. This here, believe it or not, is your refrigeration. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Uh-oh. I have we, nothing we, to work with. We need to move Surely, how are we going to cook dinner it's, if I have nothing to work with? We'll change that. We'll change that. The connecting sitting room is perfect for a post-meal siesta. There's so much to see and so much detail, you think it's a lot. But then you put it together and it works. It does. I mean, it's so wonderful to see your enthusiasm. And now, David, I want to take you to the other side of the house. Are you ready? I, I'm already overwhelmed and getting a little teary-eyed. In the west wing of this sprawling mansion, you'll find his and her social chambers. This is the Cigar Lounge. Very cool. And the Cigar Lounge was fashioned after that, which was in the St. Regis in New York City. I love the mix of patterns. Very Americana, Tommy Hilfiger looking like, uh, you know, with the, the leopard and the plaid, and it's really great. While one lounge is ultra-masculine, the other is flawlessly feminine. What's incredible here is that 
you will see a priceless work of art that was found over in Europe, brought here so the entire room could look like the Delft tile. And that's why it's called the Delft Lounge. It's beautiful. Yeah. Walk down the hall and settle in for an evening of entertainment. Wow, what a game room. This is the room where everyone can play. Billiards, roulette. Get out. 27 red. Woo. <laughs> I won. Yay. I, I win the house. I won the house. It's mine. Above the parlor room rests the library, filled with priceless antiquities. So when we look up and see this barrel ceiling, this is all inlaid wood. And then it leads into this phenomenal stained glass. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it's that? so and well then... done. Really great taste. No A-list property is complete without a home theater. And no theater is complete without snacks. Popcorn machine, you got your soda fountain here. Ice cream. Give me a break. Milkshake. This is crazy. Before you go see a movie, of course, you've got to have a little salty sweet before you go. Absolutely, but what? come right in. This is probably the most magnificent theater that any home would ever have. This 19-seat cinema can also be converted for live theater. Shakespeare would definitely approve. Just take a peek at these beautiful little marionettes up here. Is that fun or is that fun? And that we... is great. Under the house, there's a secret room for storing your most prized collection. Well, David, you are going to have the surprise of your life. Is that right? Absolutely. So watch your step. Love surprises. This door is actually from the William Randolph Hearst collection. It is incredible. And not only that, David, let me show you the surprise. The it is also is... the wine cellar. Wow, get out this vaulted ceiling. Absolutely. Incredible. Is that fantastic? What a place to taste some wine. <laughs> is this beautiful or is it beautiful? Oh, it's so great. I'll take the most expensive bottle you have. Beyond the wine cellar, a subterranean tunnel leads to a jaw-dropping discovery. This is wild. I <laughs> feel like I'm in a, an old movie or, or in Europe at an old winery. I know. This is going to blow your socks off. Oh, my off. gosh. Voila. Whoa. The conservatory. The underground oasis is outfitted with massage tables, a juice bar, and, of course, an incredibly opulent swimming pool. I look at the pool, but then you look at this woodwork and the tile and all the fixtures. It's mind-blowing. I, I don't think there's many hotels that have a conservatory like this. We could be swimming here in the winter, and we could open up the skylights and let the snow fall down on us. This is incredible. And I think you I need... have not even seen the property yet. Strolling through Tranquility's sprawling acreage feels like you're in your very own private national park. When you actually come through this beautiful pathway, this is where you feel tranquil. It's so beautiful. I can't believe we're on someone's house property. Also, as we meander through this pathway, we're going to be coming up on two beautiful par three golf tees. If you're a golf lover, you would love it here. The serene Lake Tranquility comes with the property and is stocked with brown trout. Perfect for fishing, canoeing, or just unwinding at the lake house. Now this is where you would take your coffee, bring your Wall Street Journal, come in and relax, go out onto the balcony. And I look like at this up here. Tranquility. So as you look over the lake, you're gonna look and see the guest house, the beach, you're gonna see the road that leads up to the stable and the gymnasium. Wow is a wow. Wow is a wow. It is. You must have a lot of horses. You can just take your horse right out of the stable and ride up the hill here, get on the Tahoe Rim Trail, and circle the whole lake. Oh, I'm sure the wildlife is incredible around here. It's Absolutely, just... it is. There's even a full-size basketball court for a pre-party pickup game. Let me see if I can do it. All right, do a layup.
I was more of a swimmer. Although Tranquility was built in 2000 with all these modern amenities, it feels like it's been there for centuries. Now I want to show you some of the beautiful, beautiful angles of this home. And you can see the architectural balconies, you can see the oval windows, the floor de lis on the top, the wonderful, wonderful roof, the cartouche. God bless you. Isn't that very great? It's hard to believe that's a backyard. This is the back of the house. This is the back of the house. And here we have this beautiful water feature. And then as we meander, moving forward, we're heading out to the big surprise. Oh, I see it in the distance. Lake Tahoe. Now look at this, David. This is what it is all about. You're in the middle of the mountains in this gorgeous estate, overlooking one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. It's tremendous. Well, I'm sold on this house, Sherry. I think I'm going to buy it. How much is it going to cost? It's going to cost you $75 million. If I had the money to spend, this house would be it for me. I'm in awe of the whole landscape, the way it feels. It's a real special place. I feel like I've been in a spa day. And that's what tranquility is. It is the heart and soul of everything that you are. All I can say is, I better start saving my pennies. I hope you've enjoyed our tribute to outdoor living, A-list style. Thanks for watching. I'm David Burka. I'll see you at the next A-list listing.